something we wanted to focus on from the beginning over, over anything else was really quality of the build and quality components and trying to innovate the industry, you know, as we move into the future with what we're doing. Hey everyone. So uh, getting just the last little bit of daylight here. I'm, I'm here with Brian with Current LA and we're gonna check out this Scout and you can still see it, it's getting dark, but there's nothing in it, it's just a body right now. So what are we looking at, Brian? Uh, yeah, we're looking at the uh, painted shell of a 1967 Scout 800. This was actually a uh, mail truck right-hand drive. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah. The paint came out pretty nice. It's smooth. Yeah, yeah the paint came out great. Um, just getting ready to mate it to the chassis here soon. So we got it out here on a cart. And uh, yeah, this is a full frame up build. We did a bunch of metal work on the vehicle. So you did have to do metal work on this one. This yeah, charge port. Some metal work. Yeah, we got Hard the charge port just hanging in there right now. Yeah. Oh, this is this is cool. You can see it's just literally just the shell. Just a shell. Yeah, we did a bunch of, like I said, a bunch of uh, metal repair. And it is unique because it has it's like the right hand drive, which is really cool. And that's gonna stay. Yeah, it's gonna stay right hand drive. Right. Okay. Well, let's let's look at the 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 chassis. All right. Let's Where's go. this? Where this is going? Right. So in here we got the chassis. It is two wheel drive. Okay. It's a mail truck, so most of them are four wheel drive, but this one's got a straight I beam front axle. Um, we did a small lift kit on it and powder coated the chassis and made. Um, Obviously made a bunch of uh, adjustments to the chassis, engine mount, uh, four, it's got four battery boxes. Four? That's yeah. one, two, three, four? Right. And you know, we, they're wow. not taking up any space on the inside of the vehicle, so it's only taking up space underneath the vehicle and under the hood. And when everything's made it together, you'll still have full function on the inside of the vehicle, so. That's super cool. Yeah, it's gonna be, uh, that's a big deal. And this one also, it's got four wheel disc brakes, um, upgraded steering linkage. Uh, it'll have uh, power steering, uh, you know, HVAC. So it's gonna be, a, it'll be a pretty loaded too. This one's going, we have full, uh, uh, you know, media center going inside of it also, stereo system. Uh, so it's going to be comfortable to drive. Yeah, fun it's going to be drive. comfortable. I think it's going to be really nice with the weight, with the added weight to the vehicle and the way we had set up the suspension. It's going to drive nice. Yeah. So as far as these components, for anyone who isn't familiar, uh, this here is Cascadia motor. Right. Right. And then that is there a torque box there? Yeah. Or? Correct. That's the, that's the uh, torque trans torque box. Torque trans torque box. Right. And that's connecting to the stock rear end. Yeah. Which we is the stock the rear end, end. and uh, we usually add posi to every rear end if it's available for whatever rear end we're using, and we always rebuild the rear ends, and we gasket them and seals and everything. Is there posi available for this? Yes. You might have already said that. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> sure. If okay. I, did. I don't know, but I'm very <laughs> no, excited. I, I, this is so cool, and you don't get yeah. to see what the build looks like all the time. Right. Yeah. This, unfortunately for us, right, all this is going to be covered, probably never to be seen again. Oh no. <laughs> so, no, so it's like we do sign it. work, and <laughs> yeah, yeah, we do uh, we do hard lines in a lot of this one, um, and you know everything's powder coated and everything's sealed for weather. Um, so battery boxes are all liquid cool. Correct. And how, let's see, you have it labeled with kilowatts, so that's almost 16. And this one should be on the inside here, on this side. This one's 15.7. We'll call that 16. We'll go 32 on this one. And then up front we have the big boy, we've got the 44. 64, so it's going to be like almost 105 kilowatt hour. Box. That's, That's right. a big battery. That's what a lot. what sort of range are you guys expecting with this? Uh, we're looking at about 100 to 150. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. And it's basically due to this the height and everything of the vehicle. Yeah. That's. It yeah. seems with 100 that it should be more than that. Maybe. Right. But with the you know, with with drag, you know what I mean. And the knobbly tires. Bigger and, tires yeah. and things like that. It's uh, it all comes into play, everybody knows, so. Sure. But we, we're, we're gonna try, we're hoping for, we're hoping for more. Definitely have plenty of battery. Yes, definitely. So, 
What sort of cells are you putting in, in these boxes? Okay. I forget. I used right. to know. I'll, we'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> like when I'll, we were hitting I'll the shows. I'll flash it across the screen. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> when we were hitting the shows a lot, I knew a lot more. I've just been working in here over the last, you know, four months. So, well, I guess here's a rusty. here's here's a, a okay. kind of related question. Then is that have you whatever they are? Have you guys honed in on some cells that you like, or does it depend on the client and what their goals are for the build? No, we've definitely honed in on cells that we okay. really like. Yeah, cool. We honed in on cells that we like, and that's what we use throughout. Our build so far, we're open to, to everything. Um, you know, all different types of batteries, even Tesla, or whatever's out there. Sure. As long as you know, and then of course anything that everybody's looking for the next. You know, yeah. The next cell. The, <laughs> I've been hearing. The next new. Yeah, there's lots going around. And and um, for like performance, the hybrid cells. Oh. That's like the whole thing now because oh, yeah. they discharge so fast. If you're like looking to just drag race, right? You need right. Like a you know 16 or 20 kilowatt pack. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, hybrid. just getting it burned through it and then charge again. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So it's it's like just as complex as an ice, but just the the variables are different. Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. There's all different stuff out there right now. So, but we're willing to work with the client with whatever they want. These have really worked for us, and uh, sizing has been great. You know, to, to come up with these pack dimensions that fit snug and. Um, yeah, they worked really well for us. So. Cool. So as you um, as you've been doing this build, is it's beautiful and definitely unique. Anything that you've run into that has been like a head scratcher? Uh, not really. It's just you know with four packs, it's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, you know, it'd be nice to have one large pack, but you know to fit them in this way and to do like these one-off builds, we really want to squeeze them in as much as we can, you know. Sure. And then of course we you know we scan everything and and have plans for every box and what's going into these and uh, so there is a repeat repeatability uh, within that also. That if makes anybody sense. else wanted one we could we could you know do it again. That's not a problem. So yeah. and once uh, once the shell goes back on this, you guys have your custom in-house gauges, are those gonna go into this as yeah. well? Yeah, this will get a rectangular screen gauge, um, and then we uh, uh, make a gauge pod uh, and plate that will emulate. We try to keep some of the classic feel, you know, along, but it'll have AC and other things in there too, but we do our best to try and combine the two and meld those two together. To this is gonna have AC. Look. Yeah. That's cool. Yeah, it'll have AC, heat, um, you know, it's going to have a lot of things that ran on vacuum before. We'll have, uh, you know, the windshield wipers used to run on vacuum. Now they'll be electric. So, you know, there's a lot of it's a, it's a lot of little kits and putting things together to make everything work. So, and then, you know, we do everything from interiors and and at the stereo system. So, you know, we're going to have this till it drives out of here a complete vehicle. So. Yeah. Do you have a, a goal in mind? Like end of the year to finish it. Yeah, to finish it. <laughs> no, uh, four wheels. We usually do. We 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 set goals. We try to set attainable goals. Um, you know, our number one priority is quality. Yeah, and um, that that's really where we like to shine with what we do. That's why we chose to do custom vehicles all together. So that that's like something we wanted to focus on from the beginning over over anything else. It was really quality of the build and quality components and trying to innovate the industry, you know, as we move into the future with what we're doing. So. It's very exciting. It's all new. Yeah. It's a whole new frontier. Yeah. Yeah, it is. We like working with everybody too. Everybody we've met in the industry has been really good to us. So, you know, we appreciate everyone that we've worked with so far. Everyone we've met and come across has, uh, you know, been there for us if we need, so. It's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, I Be love that. Be there in the beginning, you know, of some of the stuff, so. Or close to the beginning, I should say. <laughs> I, I totally agree. That's something that I've that I've noticed as well. Um, it, there's like an excitement. Yeah. Car people are like, okay, there's all of this new new problems to solve, new benchmarks right. to hit. And it's it almost, I have a podcast too, and it's called The Next Great Car Era, just because I think that in 30 years, people are gonna look back to now right. being like, that was oh, awesome. Sure. You could just throw a thousand horsepower motor into the your car and like go drive it around. Like, yeah, yeah. it's great. <laughs> so it's yeah, really totally. fun. It's really fun to be. Yeah, it is fun. I mean, that's that's another thing. This has been fun for us. It's just a good time. I mean, you know, it's 
I mean, everybody that hears that we're doing this really, they they want to be involved. Yeah. We've got a lot of people that want to get involved with what we're doing all the time. So it's a good feeling. Absolutely. <laughs> well, thanks for taking us through you this bet. awesome build. I can't wait to see this chassis connected back to that <laughs> shell over there and, uh, and see it burning some rubber. <laughs> right all right. On. Thanks, cool. Brian. You got it.